Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarish channel. This is yet another episode on the project update. Uh, today's topic is going to be on plumbing, electricals and then the casting of the flow decking. This is a project we are undertaking for Mother Rita, who is located in the United States. All right. If you haven't watched the earlier videos where I did give detailed summary of the cost of the carpentry works and that of the steel works, kindly go back and watch them such that you will have a fair understanding of where we are coming from. This is a four bedroom house. All right. So this is the base of the staircase. We call it the base. Okay. And once you are having a hanging staircase, it should be a double mat. The steel bender should do what we call a double mat or double mesh. You understand? So double mat is the, the normal name the, the people know, double mat. Okay. So yes. Wherever the span of the of the rooms are wider, there should be secret beams running through them in order to avoid sagging of the concrete all right as you can see i explained in the earlier video to details where the steel bender did double mat including that of the secret beams all the thicker ones as you see these are all secret beams you understand all right the purpose of this video is to give everybody a guide okay this is a four bedroom house now, in this four bedroom house, on the ground floor, we have the garage. The garage might take about a two, your yeah, maximum two cars. Okay, maximum two cars. And then we have a hall. The hall is not that big. Okay, and then after the hall, we have the kitchen. We have the kitchen store. And then we have the visitor's room. The visitor's room has its own bathroom within. So these are the three, the four main key areas in the ground floor. And then we have a staircase going upstairs. In the upstairs, we have three rooms. All of them are on suite. Okay. They have their own bathroom in there. And then we have a small family area. So the, the house is not that big. Okay. That perhaps you saw this is a big house. It's a reasonable house, four bedroom. Okay. I forgot to get the total square meters. If not, it would have given you a rough idea as to how big the house is. But then it's reasonable. It's quite okay. The rooms are quite reasonable. Okay. Mostly about 14 by 13. So this is the whole decking. So you can imagine how big the house is. It's not that big house. Okay. But it's reasonable. Now, so the purpose of this is to give a fair understanding to anybody who is putting up a four bedroom house. So I'm going to give a total, you know, cost summary by the end of this video. By the end of this video, you know how much the entire decking alone cost our client. Okay. All right. So my earlier video, I talk about carpentry and steel bending works. In this video here, I'm going to talk about electricals. Okay. After electricals, I'm going to talk about plumbing. And then plumbing, I'm going to talk about the mason estimate. And then I will sum them up by the end of the video. And then we'll get a total estimate for the entire decking. All right. Here, my boss, Mr. Frank Hammond, he did electrical piping work here. Why? Because Madame Rita wants an American 110 220 system here. All right. So item one, we use the 20 millimeter PVC pipe. It has to be PVC pipe. Okay. Uh, Interplus very strong okay 180 pieces and the total gives us 1620 circular boxes 80 pieces tangent glue okay three pieces and then a workmanship 1800 was the charge but we we're able to bid it down to 1500 all right so it doesn't mean he used all the pipe that mentioned in item one which is 180 pipe no we just use a little bit for the decking and then we'll proceed after the decking they will go inside and do the other piping work so the total workmanship and including the workmanship and then the materials give us 3435 okay so in case anybody need mr frank hammond he's a big company 
the name of the company is Shama Electricals. Okay, he undertake big, big, big project. Okay, so um, just in case he gives you an estimate, you tell him to reduce it because his mind is always about big project. <laughs> Mr. Hammond is, is 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 a big man. So once he gives you an estimate, tell him to reduce it. Okay, yes, the prices are reasonable though. So here we have Mr. Frederick Owusu, and over there too, that is a steel bender. Okay, they are always at the side making sure everything is fine. Because they, they, they are near casting, and therefore they have to make sure everything is okay. Alright, so this is the plumbing estimate. And Mr. Frederick Owusu did the magic here. So item 1, cost of materials for that of the plumbing, uh, was 2,011 Ghana cities. Okay. And then transportation for transporting the materials to the site was 300 Ghana cities. And then the workmanship, 600 Ghana cities. So you can imagine, he didn't charge that much, okay? Yeah, because the project is not that huge. And it shouldn't be that expensive when you're doing a pi um, the piping work on a decking. It's not that expensive. We have the sewage, the piston sink uh, waste, and then the supply lines. That's all. There's nothing too special up, uh, about the plumbing and the decking, you understand? Most of the work are in the inside, okay? That's where they do a lot of cutting and then, you know, laying the pipes and the shower, the pasting. There, there's a lot of work down there. But here, it's just, you know, knowing where the WCs are, put the pipe, get the right measurement, making sure that everything is positioned properly, you understand? So workmanship 600, giving us a total of... 2,911 Ghana cities. Okay, so this was done by Mr. Frederick Owusu. Mr. Frederick Owusu is a family member, that of my, my wife. So, in case of anything, do not hesitate. I'm here, just let me know. Okay, and Mr. Nkansa is also available in case anybody needs him for electrical works. You can contact him. Okay, as of now, he's going through some tough time because the wife has passed on so that's it i'll be dropping a video to give the final announcement of the burial all right all right so total workmanship here 2911 and the piping work as i've been mentioned of everything has been done you can see the end caps have been placed on all of them to avoid anything from entry and measurement is very key once you miss the measurement there's a big problem so before casting the mason has to be there okay yes and then together they will take the measurement because the plumber might have a different idea and then the mason might have a different idea when it comes to maybe laying the blocks he might try to do some changes you understand but the both of them have to coordinate and then make that sure that the measurement everything is on point and then he will lay the piping work so uh, Frederick also did a wonderful job here. So beautiful and neat work. Remember, the piping should be pressure pipe. Don't let the plumber use cheaper pipes. Why? Because there's a lot of pressure here during the casting. You understand? There's a lot of wheelbarrows going up and down, people jumping and walking here and there. So if you don't use the right pipe, okay, it will crack. And once it cracks, you have concrete going in there. And then later, you have it blocked. And when you flash, it will not go. You understand? So always, don't be so hard to, to spend on the quality. Okay? All the pipes should be pressure pipe. You can see the electrical pipe here, we use interplus. Interplus are very strong. Okay? So use interplus. Okay? If you, if you want to buy the foreign one too, yeah, the foreign one too available, they are also very strong. But the locally made ones here, Interplus, are very strong. They are durable. Okay, you can work on them, but it, it will not do anything. It will not crack. Okay, so plumbing work, for jacuzzi and everything done properly. So at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a summary. Okay, yes, a summary of the carpentry estimate, that of the steel bender, and that of the electricals and then including the plumbing and then final in this video is going to be the casting of the decking i'm going to add all of that such that it will serve as a guide 
okay your house might be bigger than this house you understand but this will serve as a guide so that you will not be swindled so that nobody can come and tell you unnecessary information or unnecessary estimate you will use this as a guide to beat or to negotiate your prices are you with me yes so it's very very important you have to write them down in case of anything let me know in case you need some advice you can contact any of my artisans especially those on this project we have Federico Wusu um, we have the Joshua Adam the carpenter okay Isaac Gomado and all of that Mr. Frank Hammond I mean all of them you can contact them and then take some advice so the day of casting has come and the amazing on this casting is Alex Dankwa. He's actually the one on the project, okay? Alex Dankwa. And he's going to do a lot of work the fence wall, the superstructure to the gable, and then to the roofing, and then the plastering. Everything is going to be done by Alex Dankwa. A superb, fantastic mason. I just love this guy. He's so knowledgeable, fast, and sincere. And I like people like that. So, yes. So the mason's estimate is as follows. We bought sand one trip. In every area comes with its own prices. In where I am in Kasua, my building is in Kasua, and prices of the sand is around 1,200. Sometimes even 900, I can get one trip, 20 cubic of a trip, you understand? But some areas, they are quite expensive. So here in Domfa, if you know Domfa, that is the location, Domfa. Okay, so one trip of a sand going for 1,800. A stone, one trip, 2,400. The stone, because there was an earlier trip that we had about some remains from the earlier ones, that's why we mentioned one trip. If not, it would have been one and a half trip. You understand? So, but because we bought stones for the foundation, there were some remains. So we added that one. That is why we needed one trip in order to do the decking. If not, for this decking, you need one and a half trip to do your decking. So if your house is quite bigger, you can use two trips. So you can budget for two trips. In, in your estimate, just write two trips so that you'll be on the safer side. The sand, we didn't use all, even though we wrote one trip, there were still more of the sand available. So for sand, you shouldn't worry. All right. For the purposes of this decking, the estimate is what I'm listing for you so that it will serve as a guide. The cement, 120 bags, okay? At that time, it was going for 63 Ghana cities. Now, I understand it's 70 Ghana cities. So, 63 Ghana cities over there. We use water. We bought one full tank, and then we bought a poly tank, and then put the water in there. So, the water alone is 394. The workmanship here in item 5, he charged 7,500. That's Mr. Alex Dankwa. The 7,500 includes... The payment for all the artisans, the laborers, he needs to pay all of them. The wheelbarrows, as you see up there, they think I think there are about four wheelbarrows. You have to rent those one. Renting of the machine is also part of the seven thousand five hundred. Everything you see up there is part of the seven thousand five hundred, but we had to bid it down and we paid six thousand. Okay, we paid six thousand, and this include the wheelbarrows paying of all these labor. I think there were 14 people. And when it comes to the operating the machine, we have standard people we apply. So 14 people, including that of the mason. There are two masons that include Alex Dankwa plus additional mason. One will be doing the spreading and one will be doing, you know, the leveling. You understand? Yes. So the total gave us 18,154 for casting. And this is from Alex Dankwa. Okay. 18,000. 154 for casting the decking which is from the mason side so now we know all the estimates so at the end of this video i'm going to put all of them together so that we know the total amount that was spent or was spent on this project okay it's very very necessary the house is not that big okay yes but it's reasonable it's a standard four bedroom house Okay, you don't have to kill yourself. Cut your coat according to your sign. So that's Alex Dankwa. After casting your decking, the next morning, the first thing you need to do is pour water. 
okay because the concrete would have dried and they'll be it will be hungry for water so you need to pour water on the surface they need a lot of water and then doing so alex Dankwa also poured a little bit of sand on the surfaces and the reason for that is he said he want to avoid a direct sunlight you know having contact with the cement if not it will have it will crack the surfaces of the concrete so he had to pour a little bit of sand you know at the surfaces and that's what he did before sprinkling the water uh, on top of it you understand after casting your decking you need 21 days for it to cure you don't just get up and so no 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 after casting you need 21 days for it to cure in these 21 days um let's say after one week of casting and you have money you can start the blog work at the top and then maintain the bamboo and all those things underneath they can stay there once you start your superstructure you understand but that should be after one week or 15 days you understand yes you can do that but mostly it is advisable to do anything on top of the decking after 21 days by that time it would have cured properly you know everything done solid so that once you are walking on top it will not create any other issue for you you understand so it's very very important okay 21 days for it to cure and like i made mention you need water make sure they constantly pour water on the surface constantly pour water so that there wouldn't be any crack you know? there wouldn't be any crack because once it is hungry for water and there's a direct sunlight contact it will crack and then the next minute it will start leaking when it rains okay all right so bear that in mind so as of now we are done and madam rita is so excited once you have the right people on your project you don't have to worry you understand and that's why i keep saying if you want me to undertake your project okay i will charge you small just small but you see we will make sure your project is done completely nice and beautiful you don't have to spend billions of dollars just to build a four bedroom house you don't have to and that is why i keep telling you let's break it down into phases always remember break your project down into phases so foundation will be phase one once we are done with the foundation then we go to phase two which will be a superstructure that's what we'll build a superstructure up to lintel level that is phase two and then phase three will be your decking just like we did now that is phase three phase four will be the first floor block work you understand up to gable and then phase five will be the roofing so i you can break it down every six months let's say the first project for the foundation you have had enough money let's say seventy thousand ghana cities let's say you have hundred thousand ghana cities available okay depending on the size of your project let's focus on the foundation once we build a solid foundation with the filling and then the ramping and then the plumbing work the dpm okay the bitumen and then casting of the oversized concrete you can rest give yourself six months and after six months you would have raised enough money because after the foundation you'd have asked them to give you an estimate for the superstructure so you have a fair idea as to how much the superstructure is going to cost you and so if you plan and say within six months i should be able to raise money for that in six months you have money for the superstructure and then we will do that for you and then you ask for estimate for decking and then you give yourself another six months in six month time if you're saving around 500 600 dollars okay a month and you give yourself six months probably by six month time you should have about four thousand dollars four thousand dollars if you run them down that's a lot of money you understand based on the estimate you get you understand and then you do it and then that is how it continues so you should give yourself five years in five years time you should be able to put up your structure meaning that in two years you have the whole structure with the roofing done you understand the remaining three years is for the finishing so you that is the span you give yourself but then if you're waiting that we should give you an estimate for the entire project it will blow your mind 
it will put you off. You will not be able to build. You feel like that is when we are. Able, that is when you give opportunity for the amazing to you know inflate the figures because they are not sure of tomorrow. So my brother, my sister, my boss, my uncle, my aunties, my honourable man, let us go in this method. And believe you me, you will be successful. All right. So this is the summary of the total cost of Madame Ritter's decking. This is just for the decking, not for the entire work, please. The decking. Carpentry, we spent 27,009 Ghana cities. Item 1. Item 2 is a steel bender estimate. This includes the workmanship, the iron rods, and everything. We spent 38,199. Item 3 is the plumbing estimate. Including materials, workmanship, transportation, everything, we spent 2,911 Ghana cities. Item 4, this is electricals, including the materials and the workmanship, we spend 3,435 Ghana cities. And then item 5, which is the casting, okay, we spend 18,154 Ghana cities. 18,154 uh, Ghana cities. And in total, we spend 89,788 Ghana cities. 89,708 Ghana city. You understand? So let's run it up and say we spent 90,000. Okay, this is for the decking. And this is based on the size of a four bedroom house. Yours might be a little bit bigger. So even if you have 100,000, you can still do it. Because the difference will not be that much. Yes, if your house at Tre Tre Krasa Den Krana, 100,000, you should be within the range. Are you with me? So lovely people, uh, please take note of this in case you need my assistance please my email address will be at the end of the video or perhaps you can contact any of my artisans they will give you my number and then you can reach me you understand and let's have a better conversation and let's build your dream house for you you don't have to spend billions of dollars okay all right if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't it's free of charge it's free okay send me an email in case you need my assistant from me to you it's shalom god bless you wherever you are bye bye